Tia follows a monthly release um, cycle since its inception, which is great for driving innovation. Um, and with a community release, we actually add a second release cycle on top of this monthly release, um, which is called the community release, and we produce one every three months. The idea here is to focus more on stability and also make it easier for third-party technologies to integrate with Tia. So in contrast to a monthly release, a community release publishes a um, re release candidate one month ahead, and we have a maintenance branch for this release, which allows contributors and adopters to provide hot fixes and basically stabilize the, the, the release even more. Furthermore, uh, we have a list of technologies that integrate with a specific community release and publish a version that is already tested and compatible with, with this uh, community release. So in a nutshell, if you're an adopter of TIA um, and you don't necessarily want to adopt every monthly release, for example, because of your project is already in a, in a more stable phase, then the community release is the way for you to go. I'm a bit biased because I worked on it, um, but I think the memory inspector feature um, is very neat and really sets the uh, apart from some of its competitors. Um, we did a fair bit of research into competing solutions when we were making the new version of the memory inspector, um, and we tried to come up with something that was at least as good as everything else and had a little bit extra. Um, and I think we managed that. I think it's a very uh, attractive feature and I think it's got a lot of functionality that's pretty easy to access and use. I would say it, it, it is uh, the, the collection of, the, of a few features really that together makes the adoption of Thea much more easy. And one, one is the Thea blueprint, obviously. Uh, another one is the, the quite heavily extended documentation, which uh, has been a, a, a long need, a, a, an outstanding need for a long time. Uh, it's also the support of the Playwright uh, test framework and the improvement of the CLI, the command line interface. It wasn't necessarily a, a, a user visible feature, but at that time we, we worked a lot also under the hood. Um, for example, the integration of the, the Monaco editor, how we use the code from, from that project has changed a lot. And that makes it much easier to work with that code base. So we, we for example, when we want to work uh, to move to a new version of Monaco, it, the process has become much simpler. Um, and the second thing is we've done a lot of performance work. Um, for example, the performance of reading and, and writing large files has been improved by a factor of 10, not 10%, a factor of 10. So I'm pretty happy with that one. So it has to be, for me, the increased improved support for VS Code extensions and the ability for application makers and users to consume them through the OpenVSH registry. Um, so you can either access the public instance to get your plugins from at openvsx.org or you can even see to self-host uh, a registry yourself in order to host your own plugins and consume this in your applications. I'm really excited about the um, Memory Inspector, uh, which has come from Ericsson. Um, it's a, a very powerful um, sort of way that you can actually look at the memory on your devices or within your applications um, as you're debugging as well. Um, I think that's a great feature. That would be internationalization. Uh, so FIA has been heavily adopted all around the globe and adopters such as Arduino, for example, highly appreciate the great translation support. I see FIA is really as, as a kind of running the same playbook um, in terms of being open, providing an extensible platform that everybody can embrace and adopt um, in their in their products and in their in their offerings. And don't forget, they also runs in the cloud, so it's also service offerings. It's not just downloadable desktop IDE, um, but it's really recreating the success uh, of the Eclipse IDE in terms of you provide something that developers love. You make it an open and extensible platform that companies can adopt and use in their own products. And that combination um, is, or is, is a proven success.
Clear allows us to adapt every detail to the requirements of our users, including its core user interfaces, integration with external services such as device management, as well as custom editors for graphical languages where we were able to contribute a little bit. Or I expect the community release cycle of uh, Thea to be really a very important synchronization point uh, for multiple things for the Thea platform, for the industrial products that build on, on top of Thea, as well as for the ecosystem around Thea. This is my opinion, I'm going to push for this, but Thea is analogous to um, like an IKEA flat pack or a prefabricated house. And one thing that you always want to know is where your parts come from. We need to work on securing our supply chain. And this, the Eclipse Foundation already gave us a lot of um, a heads up on it and a lot of lead way. So we're good on that. Uh, Open VSX, which allows us to bring in additional plugins, needs to be a platform where we can secure the origin of the platforms and make sure that we have secure code, license compliant code, and, you know, just plain good code on it. So I think one of the, uh, the features I'd like to see is the ability to detach windows. Um, so multi-window support, um, the ability to sort of break out and have a, a multi-document interface really uh, within Thea, which I believe there's some work towards and put concepts around already. Thea has been able to be hosted online since its inception and we have done since quite a while. However, for managing the developer containers, you have to apply other frameworks or custom hosting solutions so far. And with Thea Cloud, the project now also started to provide a very lean hosting solution that is fully tailored on hosting Thea Online. And I'm very much looking forward to this initiative. The thing that I would see uh, most, uh, or most likely to see in the, in the near future is the uh, addition of the multi-window support, which is also called the detachable windows. Yes, hi community, <laughs> make yourself visible. So um, if you are interested in Thea, if you're evaluating it or if you're adopting it, uh, talk to us, uh, report issues you have, ask questions in the forum, join our weekly or weekly dev call, uh, post something on the mailing list. So the, the Thea team is really very open and we are super much interested in new use cases and to support our adopters. Yeah, and finally, if you're adopting Thea, add yourself to the to the website and become part of the Theo ecosystem. So it's been a long time coming to have this first community release of Thea. Congratulations to the team. Um, it, I know it's been a long journey for you folks, uh, but we're really happy to see uh, Thea produce this release and you know really laying the groundwork for future success. So, so, so congratulations to the community. Um, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. <laughs>